Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is how same variables in different data sets in merge statement impact results. To understand this, first we need to look into how merge works. I have two data sets in here and I am going to merge them. And in the first data set, we have two variables ID and name. And in the second data set, we have ID and age. And we are going to merge these two data sets and we are going to merge these data sets by using a merge statements followed by test one data set and then test two data set. And we are going to merge by ID. That's why we have by ID. And in here, whenever we merge data sets, we need to sort by the by variable. But if you see in here, our by variables are already sorted. So I'm not going to use proc sort to sort the data. And simply what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run all of this code and by looking into our results and output data, I'm going to explain it. Now let us quickly run this. And in the result, you can see that we have three variables, ID, name and age and our result looks something like this. And in our output data, we can see that we have three variables ID, which is a numeric variable with the length of eight name, which is a character variable with the length of five age, which is a numeric variable again with the length of eight. So in here, there are two important things we need to understand. The first one is how variable attributes are set. And the second one is how the data is read from these two data sets. To understand both of this, we need to understand how data step works. Data step works in two phases. And the first phase is known as compilation phase in which attributes are set. So in the compilation phase, what happens is first test one is looked into and its variable attributes are fixed. In test one, we have two variables, ID and name. And in here, it fixes the length of eight for ID and fixes the length of five for name. Default length of numeric variable is eight. That's why we have eight in here. And then in the compilation phase, it looks into test two data set. The important point about compilation phase is if it has already looked into ID variable and fixed its attribute, it's not going to look into it again. So when it looks into test two, it just looks into age and fixes its length that is to eight. So here attributes are fixed. I'm not going into go too much detail about the attributes, but for now we are just discussing about the lengths. So here you can see that the first data set, these two variables attribute were fixed and this attribute was skipped and this attribute was a red. So this is very important point to remember and this will have lot of impact on our results we see with different examples which I'm going to discuss. Now let us discuss about how the data is read. Here I have pasted the data related to test one and test two and in here I have variables related to them. So in the first observation or in the first iteration, what happens is ID one and one match. And then what happens is it reads ID one Smith and writes to the data set. But whenever you have another data set and it has the same variable, it overwrites this because they are both same. We just see one in here. And in the case of second iteration here, we have ID two. And then we don't have any ID which matches this. So these two variables are written. So here again, we don't have anything. And ID three is in here. It is read in here. And age value is also read in here. The important point to remember is whenever we had, whenever we had a match variable from second data set, which has the same name as first data set or writes it. In the case of by variable, generally that is not problematic, but this can cause problems and which we are going to discuss. Now let us look into our data set in here, wherein I have test one and test three. Now I'm going to discuss our first effect. That is in the merge, the first data set, how it will impact the attributes and finally will impact the result. To understand this, 
we need to look into an example. Here we have two data sets. The first data set has two variables, ID and name, and the name has a length of five. And in the second data set, we have three variables. In here, we have ID, name, and age. Here we have length of 10. As I said to you, whenever we have merge statement, the first data set decides the data set attributes. So our data set attributes will be as follows. It will have ID with the length of eight and it will have variable name with the length of five and it will be a character and then we will have another variable with age. So if you see here, we have two variables with different lengths, but only the first data set length will be picked up, which means our test underscore merge three will have attributes like this. And now that we have understood that our attributes are ID eight length name dollar five, which means character five and age is eight. Now, if you look closely into both of these data sets, the important point to remember here is we have the length of 10 for this particular name in test three data set. And here the value Benjamin is there and it is longer than five. And when we merge this, what is going to happen is it is going to impact our results. That is, it is going to truncate our Benjamin to five length because this data set now can occupy only the length of five. Now let us quickly delete this and run our code and see our result. Now that you can see in our result that our Benjamin got truncated. And in the log also, you can see the warning saying that multiple lengths were given and this can cause truncation. And there are many ways to avoid this. One is just trying to put the test three data set first and then test one data set next and then run the code and everything should work fine because the now length is for name is 10. So we will get our results as we want. Now let us quickly run this code and see our result. Now you can see that we have Benjamin in appropriate way and also in the log it is all clean. And there are other ways to fix this also. I have made a very detailed video on this topic and the link for the same I will give in the description below. And, and now let us look into how the second data set, what we mentioned in the merge statement impacts the data. Here I have a merge statement in this data step wherein I have test one and test four. We have already understood the impact of the first data set. In this scenario, we are looking into the impact of second data set. Now here we have two data sets, test one and test four. Both of them have ID and name variables along with the extra age variable in, in here for test four data set. And here there is no conflict with the lengths so there is no impact from the first data set. But here we have issue with data itself. Here if you see ID one has Smith as a value of name, whereas in the case of name for ID one here is Vijay. And then here lies the problem. What happens is the data is as is read and in the first iteration you have one Smith read from test one. And this one Vijay overrides this one Smith. And then as usual, there is no conflict for this. So this stays and there is no match for ID two and three. So everything comes out perfectly fine. But in the first iteration, we have a problem. Our value of Smith is overwritten. Let us quickly run our code and see our result. In the result, we can see that the name value from the first data set was overwritten by second data set. This is often a difficult scenario to fix this. To fix these issues, generally you need to go to business and ask them why they have different values for this particular ID in two different data sets and then act accordingly. Now to sum it up, whenever we have same variables in two data sets or more data sets in the merge statement, what will happen is the first data set or the left data set, what it does is it impacts the attributes of the variable. Whereas the second data set or the right data set, what it does is it overwrites the values 
and that's all for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you